Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Optimove podcast. Today, I'm going to read out a great article from our blog. If you enjoy this episode, you can see many other articles like it by going to www.optimovedfw.com forward slash blog. The article I'm reading today is titled A Very Simple Way to Prevent Common Injuries from Exercising. Missing this tip could set you back for months. I hope you enjoy it. Do you get the same aches and pains every time you work out? Does it seem like the more consistent and diligent you are about your workout, the more all those same aches and pains come back in the same places? Maybe your knee, hip, back? Most of our workouts, especially the structured ones, are done doing the same movements over and over again. You've seen or done this. With the elliptical, biking, running, spin class, treadmill, walking, and even lifting, the body does the same repetitive motion over and over again. And it's worse than that. These repetitive motions feed on each other. Why? Because all these exercises are done in the same plane of motion going front to back, front to back, front to back. The body gets injured from doing the same motion all the time. Why does this happen? To put it simply, the same muscles are worked all the time in the same way. The same muscles get stronger, shorter, and tighter. The muscles that should be balancing us out, if they never get worked, get weaker. Over time, our body can even become misaligned, kind of like the frame of a building that's not stacked up on top of itself. Tension is going to build up on the hinges. So what do you do? Be sure to involve side-to-side movements into your workout routine as well. To do this, you can rollerblade or skate, swim doing the breast or side stroke, sideways walking against resistance band, agility ladder using side-to-side movements, sideways lunges or squats, etc. There are even cardiovascular machines that are dedicated to this type of motion, like a skating motion. So dedicate a workout or two a week to -to side-to-side movements. Be sure to always include lateral squats or lunges into your lifting routine or take a day off from running and rollerblade that day instead. All these strategies will help prevent injuries caused by your body overworking itself in the same way over and over and over again. Okay, so let's talk about the side gluteus muscles, the glute medius and the glute minimus. Doing exercises front to back all the time causes tightness in the quadriceps, hamstrings, inner thigh, hip flexors, and deep hip muscles. What gets left out are strengthening the side gluteus muscles, and likely the gluteus maximus itself. These all-important side glute muscles, the glute medius and minimus, help to pull our knees into proper alignment with the hips and feet, keep our pelvis stable, and overall provides balance to the entire lower body. When the side glute muscles get weak and underused, the hip flexors become tight and overdominant. This tends to contribute to IT band problems. IT band problems not only hurt the IT band itself, but can cause knee, hip, and even back problems. The side glute muscles are important for pulling our knees into alignment with the hips and feet. Without these muscles providing this counterbalance, our knees rotate or fall inward, especially during more strenuous exercises. What's more, the IT band tightness pushes the knees inward, also contributing to this inward motion on the knees during exercise. So let's talk about common muscle tightnesses from repeated front to back exercises. Inner thigh tightness tends to cause the knees to rotate in and for the arch of the foot to fall more flat, which further causes the knees to rotate in. Inward movement of the knees puts a lot of inappropriate pressure on the joint, especially during intense exercises. Tightness in the deep hip muscles can cause hip and back pain. The sciatic nerve can also get pressed when these muscles are tight. This is because the sciatic nerve, the big nerve that runs down the back of the leg, runs either directly underneath or directly through, depending on the individual, the piriformis muscle. If these muscles get tight, they can press on the sciatic nerve, causing sciatica, which can cause shooting, burning, stabbing, numbness down the leg. Tightness in the hamstring can cause the pelvis to tilt more flat, known as a posterior pelvic tilt, making the lower back more flat. Flattening out the lower back like this makes the back rigid and takes away its ability to absorb the pressure of daily life and exercise, kind of like the shocks on a car. What's more, the hamstrings easily can do a lot of the work that the gluteus maximus should be doing, which can cause excessive strain on the hamstring and weakness in the glute muscles. This overall problem contributes to hamstring injuries, but also to a lot of the other hip weakness problems. Tightness in the quadriceps can put a lot of pressure on the knees, and along with the rest of the hip flexors, can pull the upper body more forward. You can see this when people are bent at their hips when they walk. You often see this with the elderly and in the general public. This bending at the hip can cause back problems, but it also causes the gluteus maximus to stop working like it should. Are you seeing the pattern? Also, if all the hip flexors become tight, the pelvis can tilt too far upward, known as an anterior pelvic tilt, which can make the lower back arc too much. This is seen more with elite athletes. So what do you do? Do side-to-side movements and exercises to work and strengthen the side glute muscles and the glute max. More side-to-side movements will help to prevent injuries caused by muscle tightness and the body getting out of alignment. 
Put simply, stretch what is tight and strengthen what is weak or not used enough. Keep your body in balance. And one last thing. It's not just about the muscles, it's about human movement. Add a variety of movement to your exercise routine and a lot of aches and pains will start taking care of themselves. Don't expect instant results though. You've been doing the same routine for a long time, and we know we're creatures of habit too, and so it will take some time for the problems to resolve. While the solution may not solve the problem completely, it's a great start. And so that concludes the blog post titled, A Very Simple Way to Prevent Common Injuries from Exercising. To check out more articles like this, you can go to www.optimovedfw.com forward slash blog. Thanks for listening to the Optimove podcast, and we'll see you next time. Ready? This is the producer, Anmar, here. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave us a review. If you want to subscribe to the Optimove podcast, head to www.podcast.optimovedfw.com. That's where you'll find links to subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Once again, that's www.podcast.optimovedfw.com. To learn more about Optimove, our practice, go to www.optimovedfw.com. And lastly, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, give us a call at 214-712-8242. That's 214-712-8242. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you in the next episode.